In this video, I want to talk to you about the iTap by Bowl. It's just arrived earlier today, fitted it to a temporary housing so that I can show you it working. Very impressed so far. Let's show you what it's about. Daft Cat Brewing for Beer. Brewing and event videos. Okay, so this product's for those of you who bottle beer off the keg. It's one of many of a lot of different products that you could use. There's beer guns, there's the official Blickman ones, there's the cheap Chinese clones. I've used the Chinese clone, which is about 34 quid. And I've never managed to get a consistently reliable result. No matter what I've done, whether I've frozen the bottles first, chilled them, high pressure, low pressure, Sometimes I'll just get piles of foam and waste a lot of beer. Other times the beer would be practically flat in the bottle. With this, I want to try and get a more consistent result, less fuss and easier to clean up. Let's see if it fulfills those requirements. Here we go. The unit is basically a burr tap. You fit your bottle in. I went with the pet bottle version because when I'm bottling, it's normally to send it out in the mail. Plastic travels better than glass in the mail. You can get um, you can get a version for use with glass bottles and crown caps. So, like I say, this is the pet one. You can get the other one, or you can just buy this bit. So you, I can get the pet tap, which I've already bought, and just buy the crown cap adapter. And then I'll be able to do both with the one tap. Features of this system. You have... Noise alert. A gas purge button. So let's just put a bottle in. Turn the handle. That brings the bottle up and seals it in place. Purge the gas. Purge the oxygen out with gas. To do that, just loosen this knob up a bit, and that will let the oxygen out the top of the bottle. Spray some more gas in. And then filling it then is as simple as pulling down the tap handle. Slowly the level goes up. You can adjust how quick it fills by letting pressure off using this little, what would you call it? Restrictor tap here. So the more you open this up, the faster the bottle will fill. We're up to there now, so turn the tap off. Release excess pressure. And then get a cap ready to... So just make sure you open it fully. Then you can open that back up. Take your bottle out, you're capping straight onto foam. Seal your bottle down, job done. So there we go, bottle of beer done. Let's show you how it works, how it's installed, give you some details. As we've already mentioned, the bottom bit can come off so that you can change the type of bottles you do. On the bottom here, there's a red silicone seal that the bottle's clamped against to form an airtight seal. You've got the gas purge, so this is connected to a CO2 cylinder. Press that, purges it. You've got this which controls how much pressure's in the bottle, and this which controls the beer. So here's the view from the side. 
This requires three connections. The first one is a normal shank style beer connection. So that's your beer line in. Turn it a bit more. Pen the temporary box it's in at the moment. I want something I could flip around so I can show you how it's installed. So you've got a 23 and a half, 24 mil hole. Shank comes through, line goes on. That's your beer in. You've then got two other connections. The one at the back, as you look at it, right behind the gas button, goes out to your regulator for CO2. This one here, in my case, it goes out to the drain. I've got a drain out here for the aero system. It could happily just go into a jug or a drip tray or whatever. This is so that when you release the excess pressure from the bottle, any extra foam doesn't go everywhere and make a big mess. It goes somewhere in a controlled manner. As you can see, there's a little bit of foam in the pipe. That's from doing a few bottles already, so it doesn't waste a lot, not like like the beer gun clone does. Overall, I'm very impressed with this. Now, full disclosure, no one sponsored this video. I paid for the product myself. I had it shipped over from China because at the time, nowhere in the UK was selling them. Malt Miller have just got these in stock now. And I'll be honest, they are not cheap. When you think that, what was it, an intertap, including the shank, was under 60 quid, this is currently just over 100, which sounds a lot. But, in fairness, this is a professional product. It's proper burr grade stuff that you would not have any difficulty seeing behind a bar, in a pub, or a tap room. So you're getting a good quality product for your money. This isn't about to fall apart. It's all well made, all well put together. And it's about the same price as a Blickman beer gun. Only from my experience so far, this is a lot handier, a lot easier. You're not balancing beer guns, trying to switch bottles and everything like that. It's... Nice, simple. And it's that easy to go from one to the next. No trouble at all. No trying to balance the beer gun anywhere. No litres and litres of wasted beer because it's all foaming up or anything like that. As long as you keep the speed slow, the counter pressure that's generated there stops all the beer foaming up. Overall, very impressed with it. And for me, it's very much worth the money. It wouldn't be me if I didn't share a couple of things that I think could be better or might be a problem later on. And that is, A, the price. As I've mentioned, it's not cheap, but for what you're getting, I think it's good value. You can get Chinese versions, which, whilst of not the same design, do the same thing. I can't speak to the quality of them, though. Uh, they come in a bit cheaper. The only other thing I'm not sure of just release the pressure and cap this one. Is I mentioned the um, silicone seal under there. I don't know how long that's going to last with you clamping bo uh, bottles against it all the time. As long as you don't go stupid and clamp them too tightly, I can't see it being any problem for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of bottles. 
it's just basically a silicon washer so it should be easy enough to replace if eventually it does wear out other than that very well made very happy with it glad i've bought it if you want one and you're in the uk like i say maltmuller's got them available on the site now hope you like looking at it don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll share more new products with you as and when I get my hands on them. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching Daft Cat Brewing.